Today we discuss change. Change can be planned or change can be unplanned. Graduating from high school, planned. Graduating from college, hopefully, planned. Getting your first car, riding a bike, going on your first date. These are all planned change. Change can be good and change can be bad. I'm going to tell you a story about unplanned change. August 4th, 2014, on a Monday morning while driving to school, I wake up and I'm being taken out of a car by the jaws of life. Yes, the jaws of life are in fact a real thing, not something you can see in a TV show or a movie. I get told from a man behind me in the back seat as he's putting a towel over my head that this is really bad and I want you to try to stay calm we're trying to get you out of here safely. I spent the weekend with one of my closest friends, Matt, spending time catching up. I recently started graduate school. He was currently applying to graduate school. It was an average summer weekend. Unplanned change. I now spend the next seven weeks in a hospital getting multiple surgeries with the ultimate goal of learning how to walk again. Now look at me now. Change is interesting because all of us have different levels of change. Change is something you can't plan, unless you really try hard for it to be a linear path. The accident for me, depending on my day and depending on how my body feels, was either the best thing to ever happen to me, because it gives me fresh perspective. I appreciate things. One of my friends is here with me tonight. He visited me during my time in the hospital. But, on certain days, it's the worst thing that ever happened to me. In fact, recently, over the last several weeks, the pain has actually come back. And I have scheduled acupuncture appointments, doctor's appointments, to try to reduce as much pain as I can. But, I like to take the positive. During today's talk, we are learning about people's shared experiences, diversity of perspective, resiliency, and the concept of change. I've never been a fan of change. If I'm putting in the work, if I'm doing things the quote unquote right way, there shouldn't be change. Things are, doing, things are going the way they should be going. I had to have two surgeries. I had metal all over my body. I also had to wear a neck collar because I had ligament damage in my neck. I had a shattered pelvis. I had bruised ribs and I had to be evaluated by multiple doctors to find out whether or not I had brain trauma. And luckily they did not, hopefully. Not my memory, but would. Now during the course of the seven weeks I spent at the hospital, I wanted them to treat me like I was an athlete. Where it put me on the fast track for success. Let me have as much therapy as possible. Because the one thing about unplanned change, especially if it's negative, is I did not want it to define me. I did not want to be seen as a charity case. I did not want to be seen as just a guy who's now in recovery. I wanted to get back to my normal life. At one point in my change, in my time frame of change, I started realizing that I'm not recovering as quickly as I can. This is going to affect me going back to school, which affects the fact that I received a certain interesting amount of financial aid, which allowed me to go to school in the first place. So I decided, to make a plan to change. I called, I emailed when I was confined to either a wheelchair or my hospital bed. I called and emailed every advisor, every director that I could to make sure that I am dictating my path. And weirdly enough, one of the people who was very responsible for me coming back successfully was a professor of mine who unfortunately months earlier had his daughter be, uh, actually become a victim of a car wreck herself. And during this time, I had one moment early on where I thought, I want to sue this person for everything there was. Because I am now confined to a bed, and there is nothing more humbling than someone having to wipe you, than someone having to lift you up, than someone having to put pants on you, just someone actually encouraging you. I know you don't feel good because of all the drugs, but you need to eat, so you need to drink. Go to some of these activities, bond with some of these people. However, once I started feeling a little bit better, and I started doing therapy as much as possible, 
to the point where they even had to assess whether or not it was legal for me to do as much as I was doing. Because I wanted to make sure that I was not going to miss out on school, I was not going to miss out on spending time with my friends, and honestly, I kind of wanted to see my dog again. She wasn't allowed to come to the hospital. One of my favorite parts of that experience is that I had people in my life, some are here tonight, some will be watching this very soon, who no matter what type of change happened, they were always by my side. And one thing I'm most proud of is that I don't mind talking about this. Because typically what I see from people, and I work with students on a daily basis. In fact, I had an interesting uh, meeting with a student yesterday in which she was telling me about a certain change that was happening in her life. And it was not the good change. It was not the planned change. And I enjoyed that now because I have a fresh perspective compassion, empathy. I can be more modest and understand, at least from my perspective, that you have something going on, therefore you deserve to share it at your pace and as much as you want to. I am able to physically walk today because people understood that I did not want this to define me and I was able to go back to my normal life. People were able to listen to me, understand me, and help me. Now it's weird to think that just a few years later, I am now speaking to an audience of a lot of people who are affiliated with the school, in which this can be your future. Positive change, planned change. When people come to you, all you have to do is listen. That's why we have two ears and one mouth. Thank you very much.